XRP 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 The Bulls getting ready to run out the game Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page and TikTok at High Vibe Assets. Let's go ahead and kick off this bullish content. Okay, now look. We've seen the banks. We're now seeing cold storage applications being brought out to the masses. Now we got the government getting involved. Look, family, what I'm telling everybody, can't you feel it? The last quarter of 2023 is going to propel us to a place in digital assets family that we've never seen before. And you know what's the great and exciting thing about this? When you're talking about the masses, they have no clue that this is going down. Just by listening in to the high vibes, just by being in this space, speaking about it on Twitter, on Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, out networking with people, continuing to tell them about digital assets. It's only the new financial 1% that even know that this thing is actually going on. This is the time to where generational wealth is created is by being an early investor in new innovation. All the big banks are in. Crypto, cold storage by the biggest players, Uphold, IBM, Ripple, they're all in. Wall Street making their moves strategically. We've seen their statistics. They know what it is. They've already ran. They've been waiting on this one thing. And the one thing that I've been trying to get everybody to prepare to make sure you got your ducks in a row. Because once regulation comes down and regulation is going to come down in layers it's not just going to be bam one you know what i mean <laughs> one document and then bam the magic starts no nah, that's not how law works it gets passed in stages and it develops and it continues to grow until they finally stamp it this is going to be a two to three year period where we're talking about regulations, but we're about to start getting them in the last quarter of 2023. Take a look at what I'm showing you right here on your screen. U.S. bill. U.S. passes bill to promote mass blockchain adoption. Of course they are. Of course they're passing it right now <laughs> because when you see the sentiment when you see the amount of wealth, when you're talking about tokenization of all assets, everyone has piloted it. XRP, let's not forget, bro. That's the only one on paper that can really do business. Everyone else still has not got clarity. Yeah, you may be using it, but you're doing those things because you may believe. But XRP is the only one that's on that paper that these large institutions, look, right now, can freely do enterprise with without the worries of this asset being a security. You have to understand, family, what's going down when I'm talking about this monopoly, okay? Comparing Ripple to the Amazon of crypto. Y'all do know Amazon is a trillion dollar company, right? Like a T. One of the first ones in history. Same thing with Apple. In the way that they're doing it, in the amount of time that they're doing it in, things are being sped up. The U.S. becomes more competitive in deploying, using, and blockchain technology. Oh, absolutely they are. <laughs> for sure. There was a narrative going on for a long time. Oh, the U.S., oh, they're far behind and, and, and they're, 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 they're falling behind. That was a damn lie. You know what I mean? It's just just propaganda. Absolutely, they've been keeping up, just been doing things behind the scenes. A related bill. Now, we know a bill is not a law. Come on for you, you know, legislative people out there. But you understand that bills turns into laws. OK, so this is the step that we must go through. A related bill will establish whether cryptocurrencies are securities or commodities. Now, you still have this up in the air as Rigamum Row, the Wild Wild West, 
all of these assets, are they securities or are they not securities? What is the only asset that you can say that and apply that to on paper? Now, I know a lot of people put in Bitcoin. A lot of people put that Bitcoin in. But these are just narratives, right? These are just, you know, what a congressman may say or an opinion of a, you know, Bill Hinman, an SEC official, Jay Clayton, you know, they can go out and say these things and lead the market to believe that it is. And if the market adapts it as it is, then that is what it is. But we're talking about bills, laws, legislation, regulation. You still don't know with any of these assets. Are they securities or commodities? <laughs> they don't have any. There's no clarity. XRP does. Can't you see what's happening right now? A U.S. House committee passed pro blockchain bill with unanimous support it's time <laughs> it's time you know we can't we can't wait anymore if it takes effect it will increase blockchain adoption in the country by tasking the u.s secretary of commerce with promoting its deployment right so you have to understand that this is the initiation let's go ahead and put the media out there Let's go ahead and put the articles out there, okay? Let's completely change the narrative of what it has been about blockchain, distributed ledger, right? Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, XRP, XLM, IOTA, Algorand, Cosmos, Ethereum, right? Let's completely change the narrative. Let's put the support out. Let's make sure that we have the things that's in place to increase the blockchain adoption, making sure that the people are in place to rightfully advance this, introducing the best practices and policies. Now, how are we going to do this? Right. Yeah, we can put a piece of paper out there and we can say, yeah, go ahead and um, uh, everybody just start using blockchain. Man, wh how, how are people going to get educated about it? You know, us being the early investors, you know, we're the we're the one percent getting into this space. Even if you just getting into this space right now, you still got a shot. Right. But how are they going to do this? How are they going to introduce the best practices? Uh, number one, what are your projections or hopes on the future of crypto regulations, both here in the U.S. and internationally? And how might these potential regulatory shifts impact the broader crypto industry and polyscience direction? So a lot going on in that question. I think uh, undoubtedly, uh, when I think about regulation and regulatory clarity specifically, it's really, I think, going to be a catalyst for institutions coming into the space. And a lot of the regulation that exists uh, in other asset classes protect both retail investors as well as institutions. And obviously, crypto currently is really more of a retail-driven market and the institutions there i think there is a lot of pent-up demand but they're not going to move until we get some regulatory clarity there's a whole regulatory arbitrage going on globally right now where rest of world particularly in certain pockets we're seeing a lot of advancement in the in the uk we're seeing a lot in singapore and the uae even hong kong uh, more recently switzerland um, fairly advanced in terms of embracing digital assets not just crypto but digital assets uh, where the U.S. has a lot of, of um, catching up to do if we're going to continue to spur innovation and really allow institutions here in the U.S. to adopt digital assets and crypto. There's been some recent big wins. I'm going to be talking to Brad Garlinghouse later uh, today about the Ripple wins. Uh, Coinbase seems to be making really good progress. Grayscale uh, has definitely had some favorable uh, wins in the courts. And so hopefully we're starting to chip away at that. And I think some of the guidance out of the SEC around the safeguarding rule, which specifically impacts custody, uh, while there are some drawbacks uh, and aspects to it that I think are untenable and unrealistic, the foundational premise of what they said in these proposed operative word uh, rules really allow RIAs to invest into crypto so long as they do it with qualified custodians. And so you know, the headline we like, some of the tenants of it, you know, we and others in the industry, I think, are, are looking to potentially um, rework or change there. But I think net net, uh, the U.S. is behind. We need to catch up in terms of offering some regulation. And I have seen some positive signals of late policies. Right. How are they going to do it before the bill was passed? 
Blockchain Association CEO Kristen Smith said that it rightfully advanced the country's competitiveness in the blossoming industry. It covers a variety of actions the Secretary of Commerce needs to take if it becomes legally effective. These include drafting sustainable policies and the best practices and recommendations for the private and public sectors in the process of using blockchain technology. Let's get on the same page, man. Like, let's bring in the private with the public. Let's have rules, regulations, what you can use, what you cannot use. What actually makes something a security? Look, and just because something is a cryptocurrency, don't make it a security. I mean, you have virtually digital securities today, right? So don't get that twisted. But let's have a real understanding and rules in place, i.e. maybe that XRP test. Hmm. We're going to be talking about that coming on later on in a couple of shows. We're talking about the monopoly, how XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. Actionable steps of blockchain deployment. Now, how are they going to move? What kind of steps are they going to take to get the people to use the blockchain, to understand the blockchain, to develop the blockchain systems, the interoperability, the level playing field? How are we going to do it? Again, a lot of the times people are just like, oh, the government passed a bill and then post a picture and then that's the that's the end of it. No, you have to go behind the scenes. You as being in this space, a crypto martyr, right on the front lines, bro, you better know what you're doing. (laughs) And I'm doing the best that I can to make sure that, hey, you at least have a clue. Actionable steps of blockchain deployment. The government would create a blockchain deployment program to support the use of the technology. Obviously, right, they're going to put it together a team. And we've seen the Bank of International Settlements already do this with their cross-border payments teams, right, their their coalitions, right? That's what they have to do, organize, right, and make sure that the mission goes out. It would set up advisory bodies to support blockchain adoption with industry stakeholders, federal agency representatives specialists among their members right just getting together and being on the same page the government would also take measures to promote blockchain leadership and improve coordination for federal agencies interested in using blockchain technology it would do the research on federal agencies current use of blockchain and the extent into which that they are prepared to adopt the tech moving forward This is what we want to see, man. This is how you know that this is the real deal. A lot of people speculations and and it's so many things that you can speculate about how blockchain is not going to come in, how distributed ledger is not going to be here for the rest of our lives. Other impactful legislation, another potential impactful piece of legislation in the financial innovation and technology for the 21st Century Act. If passed into law, it will establish a process for the agnostic use of labeling cryptocurrencies as securities or commodities and make the regulating jurisdictions more clear. Gary Gensler, Mr. Burns, Jake Clayton, Bill Hinman, Hester Pierce, all of y'all, all of y'all. And I'm putting the ones in Congress in this too as well, bro. Patrick Meharry. You know what I'm saying? Um, David Warrenson, right? Richie Torres, um, Tom Emmer, even though he's been on the front line, still got to put his name out there, bro. What's up? Let's go ahead and get this going. Everyone down there in Washington, D.C. with the suits on, make sure everyone knows about this technology. Put this thing in motion. Make sure that the technology can be on a level damn playing field. Because if you do... and The big conglomerates, they've already done it, and they've already chosen XRP as being the number one asset in crypto. Real talk. Real talk. That's what they did. Absolutely. And that's why you come on the High Vibes channel, family. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every single time is bullish. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. 
make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. But please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the Bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. XRP, 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 the Bulls getting ready to run out the gates.